It's Autism Acceptance Month, and for families with kids on the spectrum, it can be hard to know what steps to take after getting that diagnosis. And that's why we have Dr. Doreen Grampache with us today. She is a licensed psychologist and a board-certified behavior analyst who founded the Center for Autism and Related Disorders. Good, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Grampache. Good morning. Thank you so much, Nicole and Scott. Nice to be here. Can I, can, I, can I ask a personal question? Why did you go ahead and, and found this wonderful organization? Um, well, I, this was a long time ago um, when I founded CARD. And I think, it, you know, the, it had, it, I think it was a combination of the first child I ever met with autism who was actually quite intelligent and had a photographic memory. Mm. And it just made me think this is a very, very special and different type of thing. And, and, you know, we have so many questions about autism. And then the second factor, I think, were the moms. For me, it was really important to stay in the field and try to help the moms as much as I could. Yeah, there's so many emotions uh, that are associated when you hear of a diagnosis which your child receives. And, uh, you know, it's amazing. I mean, you have over 100 centers now in the country, and it just only continues to grow, right? Yes, absolutely. I mean, the need for both a diagnosis, assessment, and treatment is continuing to grow. It's pretty amazing. And it is quite difficult for families. So I was really happy when you guys asked me to come and talk about sort of the steps to take after the diagnosis. Can you go through some of those steps for us, Doc? Yeah, absolutely. Um, in fact, I'm actually writing a book about exactly this issue oh, wow. because uh, there, it is very devastating for families when they get the initial diagnosis. Often the diagnosis takes place when the child is around three, maybe four years old. So. If you can imagine, it's quite shattering for the family in terms of, you know, now they have to reorganize their lives and plan for the next at least three, four, five years to be quite different. So, you know, I start with, I think the first step is just building your tribe uh, because you will need help and there's a lot to do. So finding family members, people who are willing to be part of your team as you go into this and who are supportive of you, support, know your child and, and willing to step in for you, I think is, is a very important step. And then you next, I think, need to pay attention to the child's physical health. A lot of times when parents get a diagnosis, they're so overwhelmed with the actual diagnosis mm -hmm. that they overlook other physical things. For instance, if the child has gastrointestinal issues, which a lot of kids do, um, or let's say dietary needs or isn't sleeping, those types of things are very important to take care of uh, because as, as you progress into these steps, you know, when you start, the, the primary intervention, once you have a diagnosis, is behavioral therapy, right? ABA or applied behavior analysis. But the more healthy your child is, the more stable they are, the better they're sleeping, the more you're going to get out of doing that uh, behavioral health portion. Because, mm. you know, a child who's not sleeping, and, you know, sleep is a big issue for kids on the spectrum, but child who's not sleeping is not going to have a very good time learning new information. So getting your child's mm. physical health and mental health together and then going into a lot of teaching through uh, behavioral psychology methods like ABA, I think those are the primary steps. And then I also always talk to families about not the family unit and making sure the siblings are doing okay, uh, giving an, enough attention to the whole family because what I see often happening is parents burn out yeah. and they get Absolutely. so overwhelmed that they just can't be there to take care of things. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Like, what do you recommend for parents who are dealing with all of this, yeah. you know, receiving the diagnosis, trying to process it, trying to process that which their child may need that they don't even know that they're going to need coming down the pike? 
Exactly. That's why I think it's so important to gather a few people who are going to be there for you. Mm -hmm. uh, so often I see that moms especially, but both dads as well, because it is also quite shattering for dads. I think it's so important to have people who can just step in. So once in a while, you can take a day off. Um, you know, kids with autism, it's very hard to find daycare or a, a person who can take care of your child while you just take a day off. And I think that is vital because yeah. so many parents just are overwhelmed and they yeah. just don't want to, they don't know how to take care of things. We have to leave it there, doctor, but we so appreciate your time. Thank Thanks you so for being much. with us. We appreciate it. A pleasure. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you over on the wax. Recipe of the week is next. Ooh.